New York State Assembly passed a same-sex marriage bill for the fourth time in two years, but this time the state Senate is closer than ever to making it law. Advocates for the bill need one more vote. That's it. One more vote among their Republican colleagues, and many of those supporters believe that vote is in play. Sean Eldridge is the political director for Freedom to Marry, and Claire Buffy is Miss New York for 2010 and a gay rights advocate, and they both join me on set today. Great to have you both here. Thank you for having us. Uh, Sean, I want to start with you. Take us through the latest developments and what we can expect from the State House. Well, as you just noted, uh, last night the State Assembly passed the marriage bill with bipartisan support with the majority of New Yorkers behind them. And uh, all that's left is the uh, State Senate passing the bill and the governor has uh, promised to sign the bill. So we are very close and we are optimistic that the bill will come to a vote in the Senate uh, and that it will pass, but it's not a done deal. Mm -hmm. And it's more important than ever that New Yorkers who care about this issue are heard, that they call their senators, that they make their voices heard because we are so close. Claire, you have been a huge supporter of this issue as the first Mer uh, Miss America contestant to run on an all LGBT platform. Uh, you have spent the last year providing the service around the country to bringing conversation to this. I think it's uh, uh, Straight Talk for Equality is the platform? Straight for Equality. Straight for let's Equality. Talk. Uh, let's talk about the fact that this is coming right on the heels of you about to giving, give up your crown this weekend yes. uh, to the next Miss New York. Do you think this is going to happen? And if so, what's your reaction? I do. Uh, two days before I walked into my Miss New York interview when I was crowned, Dignity for All Students passed. And then throughout this year, we had Don't Ask, Don't Tell repealed. We had D.C. legalizing gay marriage. And so now, to, to end my year with New York hopefully passing marriage equality and, and giving that freedom to marry to all people, um, I would be honored. And it would just be a culmination of, of the work that I've done with fellow New Yorkers this year. Uh, Sean, I know there's a big push right now within the state of New York, phone banks being set up to call your senator, to talk to people. Uh, do you think that's really what the needed push is, is right now for people to reach out to their senators and say this needs to go through? I think it's made a huge difference. I mean, we've heard from the five senators who voted against the bill last time that they have had thousands of calls, emails, postcards from supporters across New York, gay and straight, Republican and Democrat, who support the freedom to marry. It's made an enormous difference, um, and a majority of New Yorkers want to see it done, and the Senate knows it, the Assembly knows it, and it's now up to them to uh, pass the bill. Uh, Claire, as I said, you've had uh, the entire year uh, to spend talking about LGBT issues. Uh, you are a straight woman, uh, but you chose this mantle and you took it on. What's your reaction to having spent the past year doing this? Uh, and, and do you think this is something you're going to continue to do throughout your life? Oh, absolutely. The Miss America organization throughout this year has really revealed what not just my passion is, but what mm -hmm. my purpose is. So I'll absolutely be continuing my advocacy because I don't need a crown to do this. I need a voice and every single one of us has a voice and those straight ally voices I think are some of the most important voices to be heard. Next step you might go to Georgetown right? I'm applying so if they're listening. All right. <laughs> Georgetown, good time. You'd be lucky to get her. Uh, Claire great to have you on. Congratulations thank on you. a wonderful year. Sean thank you for coming you. on and we'll continue to watch this story as it develops. Uh, we're going to have more uh, especially more on the breaking news that Anthony Weiner is going to be